been doing a little bit of um, research and I have a set of questions which are the most often asked questions in a driving test. So I thought we might look at some of them today mm. and we'll just see how we get on and um, we'll take it from there. Okay, I'm just going to throw these out to you and we'll see then what people come up with or what kind of ideas we have as the answers. If I were to ask you, who has the right of way on a roundabout? The person from the right. That's right. The person all the way to the roundabout. The part, okay, they're two good answers. That's very good. What signs would you expect to find on approaching a roundabout? And I think there's a choice of three or maybe all three are there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure it's take left. That's right, keep Is left. That's keep right, left, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yield to the... Yield sign. Yield right of way sign, right yes, of way. exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, and the, you know, that circle, the roundabout sign, you know, yes, it's the a circle, itself. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. to say you're approaching right that's right. Yeah. Yeah. When the roads forming a junction are of equal importance, traffic coming from which direction has the right of way? Could you uh, read that again now? What was it? Well, I'll run that uh, by you again, yeah? Yeah, would you mind? When the roads forming a junction are of equal importance. When are roads forming a junction? Mm -hmm. yeah. Are of equal importance. Mm -hmm. Traffic coming from which direction has the right of way? Yeah. The right. Yeah. Because right yeah. the right, right of way. So everything yeah. is on, on more or less right. on the right when you're driving, if mm -hmm. you're to watch. You always get right drive, to yeah. traffic on the right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have a copy of the quiz for everyone. And we might look at it again now. And we look at it with a view to trying to write out the answers, which is actually different to giving them verbally. Yeah. As you know, mm -hmm. it's one thing to answer verbally, yeah. but it's a different exercise altogether to try and get that kind of English down on paper, yeah. isn't it? Yes. And you'll have a bit of practice at form yeah. filling as well, because mm -hmm. I have it and yeah. it has the look of a form from it. And we might also need some spellings to get some of it down. So is that um, of interest to you? Yeah. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. yeah. OK, that's grand. <laughs> Learning to identify all the signs you'll see as you drive along is a key skill you'll need before doing your driving test. For example, here's a sign you'll see a lot. It means there's a roundabout ahead. Another sign you might see is this one. It means no left turn. To help you along, the Read Right Now workbook has a couple of useful exercises you might like to practice on. On page 84, you'll see this exercise where you have to look at the signs and tick their correct meaning. For example, does this sign mean A, keep left, B, no left turn, or C, no entry? The correct answer is B, no left turn. Why not try the rest of these exercises after you've finished watching the programme? If you'd like some help with using the pack, ring the National Adult Literacy Agency support line where tutors are available to advise you Monday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you don't yet have a Read Right Now learning pack, watch out for the free phone number at the end of the programme where you can call to order a copy. Knowing that her friend was about to take her driving test in a few days, Cathy wanted to wish her luck and let her know that she was keeping her fingers crossed for her. So what better way to do it than with a good luck card? To Silka. Best wishes. Good luck. Hope it goes well. Best wishes. It's always nice when sending a greeting card to be able to add a personal message. Birthday cards, good luck cards or Christmas cards are very informal and personal, so you don't need to worry about what to write or how to lay it out. Most people begin with a greeting to the person they're sending the card to. So Cathy wrote, to Silke, up in the top left-hand corner. The card already had the words, be lucky, written on it, but Cathy also wanted to add her own words. She could have written best of luck 
or hope it goes well. But she decided on best wishes and then put her own name underneath so that Silke would know who the card was from. With her driving test arranged for the following day, Silke took a special pre-test driving lesson where she hoped to pick up some last minute hints for the big day. Now, what is procedure for Mara? I mean, what do I have to do? And the first thing he'll ask you to do is to sign a form. And the form will be to say that the car you're driving is properly, adequately insured and uh, that the car you're driving is in roadworthy condition. Now, he'll ask you to read it, but don't worry about that. You won't have to read it out aloud. And if you've a problem at all, because you will be nervous, yeah. you can ask the tester to read it for you. And the tester will do actually read it for you. Do people normally do that? Oh, they wouldn't they mind, wouldn't they? Oh, not at all. No, not at all. They will actually read it for you. Then they'll ask you some questions on the rules of the road. Somewhere in the region, 10, 15 questions. And they will vary. Some of, w of the questions will be on the uh, signs that you'll find on the back of the rules of the road. Road signs, you know? Right, yeah. uh, like a clear way, pedestrian zone something like that. What if about. I don't understand them though? I mean, can I ask him to rephrase them? Oh, absolutely. I won't be f absolutely. Absolutely. And if you don't uh, understand a question, all you've got to do is simply say, look, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Could you put it a different way? And they will rephrase the question for you. So then he'll tell you to go out to the car. He'll ask you to go out to the car and they may chat with you. They probably will chat with you as mm. you go out to the car about the weather, things like that. And he'll say to you basically three instructions. Um, I, he'll say, I, I won't be talking to you except to give you directions. Right. Now, the reason for that is not to be unfriendly, but so that you can concentrate mm. when you're driving. Mm. Unless I tell you otherwise, I want you to follow the main course of the road. The main course of the road, going straight or following the main road. Mm. And if you don't understand any of my instructions, ask me to explain again. Right. Okay. Right. And as I said already, no tricks, no gimmicks. Um, they're looking for simple Hop on, safe driving. Right, well, thank you very and much. Well done. Today. And uh, <laughs> I see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, absolutely. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. The other thing people worry about when doing the driving test, apart from the driving itself, is answering the questions on the rules of the road. Remember, if you don't understand the question, just ask your tester to repeat it. He or she may just be asking the question in a different way than the way you're used to hearing it. So if you're not completely sure about what you're being asked, you can ask your tester to repeat or explain the question. As Silke celebrates her success, let's recap on some of the main learning points covered in this week's programme. Before you start to complete any form, take your time, read each question carefully and watch out for any instructions on how it should be filled out. A term you'll often come across when filling out complex forms is category. The word category is another word for type or kind. If you have to write the date of birth in a series of boxes like this, here's how to do it. If your birthday is the 19th of November 1959, write 1 9, then 11, November is the 11th month of the year, and 1 9 5 9 in the four spaces for the year. If your birthday is the 5th of June 1971, write 0 05 for the day. 06 for June, the sixth month of the year, and the same again, 1971 for the year. In our spelling tip this week, we looked at word building, taking a root word like available and adding on before it to give you the opposite meaning. 
Other words like this include wise, unwise, helpful, unhelpful, happy, unhappy. What signs would you expect to find on approaching a roundabout? And I think there's a choice of three, or maybe all three are there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure it's take left. That's right, keep Is left. That's keep right, left, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, um, yield to the yield sign. Yield, yield right of way yield sign, right yes, way. exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, and the, you know, that circle, the roundabout sign, you know, it's yes, a circle, itself. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. To say you're approaching right yeah. Next, we looked at different road signs and the difference between looking at them as you drive around and as they will appear when you're asked to identify them in a driving test. Why not try out the exercises in the Read Right Now workbook, which will help you to practice identifying the signs? There are lots of occasions when you might want to send a greeting card and whether you want to wish someone a happy birthday or good luck, it's nice to be able to add your own personal message. Try some of these greetings out next time you have a card to send. Good luck, best wishes, hope it goes well. If you're asked a question in your driving test and you're not sure what exactly it is you're being asked, do ask the tester to repeat the question. It may be that they have asked the question in a different way than the way you've been used to hearing it. So take your time and make sure that you understand the question correctly before answering. If you have any questions on anything we've covered in this or previous programmes, or you'd like some help with using the Read Right Now pack, call the National Adult Literacy Agency free phone, 1800 20 20 65. You can also call this number for information about reading and writing services where you live, or you could contact your local VEC directly. If you don't already have your learning pack, phone 1800 20 20 65 and order one. Calls are free. Next week, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down as Maura arranges to take her young son Darren to hospital for some tests. And little sister Amy gets more than she bargained for during a makeup session with her babysitter. Lots to learn along the way, including more on formal letters, on scanning and following medical instructions. Oh.